Jesus has gone back to heaven. Yesu tayari amesharudi mbinguni. He is in the sitting at the right hand of God the Father. Ameketi mkono wa kuume wa Mungu Baba. Since he resurrected he is in heaven. Tangu afufuke yuko mbinguni Yesu. But Jesus is in the world through his spirit. Lakini Yesu yuko hapa chini duniani kupitia roho yake. He is here through his spirit. Yuko hapa kupitia roho yake. The Holy Spirit of God. Roho mtakatifu wa Mungu. This is why he said. The words that I speak to you. They are spirit. Ni roho and they are life. Pia ni uzima. This is why he said. Ye, I am the truth. Mimi ni kweli. He is saying I'm the word. I am the truth. Mimi ni neno kweli. And I am the life. Na mimi ni uzima. Now when the Holy Spirit comes Bas wakati roho anakuja it is the fullness of Jesus ni ukamilifu wa Yesu Kristo Jesus lives in us by his spirit Yesu anaishi ndani yetu kupitia roho mtakatifu and by him being in you na kwake Yesu kuwa ndani yako you become a child of God unafanyika mtoto wa Mungu by him being in you kwake yesu kuwa ndani yako romans 8 and verse 9 warumi 8 mstari wa 9 does not have the spirit yeye ambaye hana roho he does not belong to christ yeye si wa kristo if you do not have the spirit in you kama hauna roho ndani yako then you you do not belong to christ basi wewe si wa kristo but to be filled with the holy spirit walakini kujazwa kwa roho mtakatifu or to be baptized in the holy spirit ama kubatizwa katika roho mtakatifu is not the spirit coming in you si roho kuja ndani yako the apostle paul is asking did you receive him mtume paul anauliza je mlimpokea you can receive what you don't know uwezi kupokea kile haujui ah aha You can receive what you don't know. Uwezi kupokea kile hujui. And the church today na kanisa leo has no understanding of the Holy Spirit. Halina ufahamu kuhusu Roho Mtakatifu. We know too much about everything else. Tunajua mambo mengine sana. But too little about the Holy Spirit. Lakini duni sana kuhusu Roho. He is the third person of the God here. Yeye ni Mungu wa utatu katika Mungu. He is the most sensitive part of the godhead ndiye makini sana katika utatu wa Mungu Jesus said Yesu akasema if you blaspheme the father ukimkufuru baba or you blaspheme the son ama mkufuru mwana you will be forgiven unaweza samehewa but if you blaspheme the holy spirit ukimkufuru mtakatifu you will not be forgiven hakuna msamaha why kwa nini because a blaspheme against the holy spirit mkufuru roho mtakatifu is denial of the father and the son kumkana Mungu Baba na kumkana mwana vile vile because the holy spirit kwa maana roho mtakatifu is the one that reveals god ndiye anamfunu wa mungu he convicts us of our sin anatushawishi kudhambi zetu you sisi. can never be saved hawezi kuokoka without the holy spirit in influencing you bila roho mtakatifu kukushawishi why ndio kwa sababu in the religious churches katika makanisa ya kidini they preach the word wanaohubiri neno and people don't get saved lakini watu hawaokoki because the holy spirit roho mtakatifu has to be welcome lazima akaribishwe for him to begin to work in the lives of people ili aanze kufanya kazi katika maisha ya watu he is the one that brings change yeye ndiye huleta badiliko because kwa sababu when he when he takes over your life akichukulia usukani maisha yako because he is the most sensitive part of the god mana ndiye makini sana pale katika utatu wa mungu he can be quenched anaweza kakwazwa and he can also be grieved na anaweza kwazwa anaweza zimwa anaweza kwazwa when you continue doing what is not of jesus you grieve him unapoendelea kufanya yale ambayo si ya yesu unamkwaza roho mtakatifu and when he is grieved he becomes resident mm. na wakati anakwazwa he, ana he, He just anatulia tu he is in you anatu na kondani yako ndio lakini afanye kitu he is in you na kondani ndio doing nothing afanye kitu if the devil comes adui akija shetani and wants to use you anataka kukutumia he uses you ana anafanya kazi yake na wewe the spirit is dormant roho anafukua hana kazi ndani yako he is not doing anything afanye kitu because kwa sababu he is grieved amekwazwa 
And as you continue to do those things that are sinful, he is completely quenched. And now you become worse than the time that you were not Sasa saved. katika hali mbaya zaidi kuliko hata wakati ulikuwa hujaokoka bado. This is why we have got some people who are saved but they, they behave worse than those people who are not saved out there. Has, has anybody seen people like that saved mm -hmm. but their but their life lifestyle mm. they do stuff that some people out there Dio, who don't have God who don't even Dio, go to church. Vituko kabisa wanawazidi watu wa bwata wajaokoka. What, are, what is wrong? Nini makosa pale? Kasoroga niko. The Holy Spirit came in them. Roho alikuja ndani yao mtakatifu. And they didn't take another step. Hawakupiga hatua nyingine. They were satisfied to have him in them. Wakatosheka tu yeye roho kuwa ndani yao. And they they kept him in there and they did whatever they wanted to do. It didn't matter. Wakamwacha pale na ikawa hawajali wanafanya watakalo tu. And as they continue to do that. Na wakifanya tabia hizo hizo. They get used. Wakazoea they become so used sana to that kind of life kwa maisha hayo, that the Holy Spirit in them hadi yao, does not have any influence in what is going on in their lives kwa ya maisha ya mtu aina hiyo. because he has been quenched. Kwa mana Amezimwa. That is why the Bible warns us not to quench the Holy Spirit. He is quenched by you disobeying him. Because before a believer does something wrong, the Holy Spirit will tell them this is wrong. You will hear it in your spirit. But if you continue and ignore that voice you are hearing, in the inside. Then, then you, you go into sin. And when you go into sin, it is difficult even to repent. The Holy Spirit continues telling you what you did is sin. If you continue to Quench it because oh. to hold it back, that voice that is telling you this thing that you did is sin, you need to repent. Mm -hmm. Then you stop hearing the voice. And when you stop hearing it, then your conscience. Sasa, the mirror dies inakufa and that is a terrible position na ni nafasi mbaya sana hiyo ukijipata hapo i pray no one under the anointing of my voice will ever get to that position naomba kila mmoja aliye chini ya sauti yangu hata afika mahali kama hapo i pray that you become sensitive ninaomba ukawe makini sana when when the Holy Spirit speaks, you can hear. He does not speak the way I'm speaking. He speaks in your heart. A small voice. Very small. Very, very small. He speaks from inside. Why should you be filled with the Holy Spirit? Now, you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit because you need a spirit guide. Unaitaji kujaza romu kwa sababu unaitaji mtu akukuongoza wa kiroho. You need a spirit guide. Unaitaji muongozo you need a spirit guide. Unaitaji muongozo wa kiroho. Let me put it more directly. Acha niweke nilenge moja kwa moja. You need a spirit. Unaitaji roho 
to guide your life. Atakayeongoza maisha yako. Kupe mwelekeo. Anybody outside there in the world? Yeyote pale nje duniani. Whom you see doing things that other people are not doing. Ambao unamwona anafanya mambo ambayo wengine hawafanyi. And they are not saved. Na hajaokoka huyo mtu. They know what I just told you which you don't know. Anajua kile nimekuambia ambacho wewe haujui. They know that for them to succeed in life they need a spirit guide. Wanajua ili wafanikiwe maishani wanahitaji kuongozwa na roho. Ah. Hmm? This is why. Ndio kwa sababu when they go to worship wanapoenda kuabudu and they are asked to do something na wanaulizwa wafanye jambo they cannot go one altar away from what they were asked hawawezi kupiga hatua kidogo na kila ambacho waliulizwa wafanye they are told wanaambiwa for you to get this ndipo sopate hii go and bring a white cock and ukalete jogoo mweupe who has nothing totally white hana madoa doa hata moja doa hakuna it doesn't matter where they will get that white watatoa njogoo mweupe they will look for it until they get it watatafuta mpaka wapate njogoo mweupe if they are told to do anything wakiambiwa fanya hii they do it to the letter wanatiki kabisa kwa nini because they are they are led by a spirit wanaongozwa na roho fulani That means they are they understand they are spiritual. Maana yake wanaelewa wao ni watu wa kiroho. A spiritual being must be led by a spirit. Mtu wa kiroho lazima aongozwe na roho. Because you are not flesh. Kwa maana wewe si mwili nyama tu. You are spirit. Wewe ni roho wewe. And you live in a body. Na unaishi ndani ya mwili. So we have never seen you. Hatujai kuona sisi. We only see where you live. Tunaona nyumba yako tu hema hiyo. Because you are not physical. Kwa maana wewe si mtu wa kimwili. You are a spirit being. Wewe ni mtu wa kiroho. And you need a spirit to na, lead you. Na unahitaji roho akuongoze kwa maana you to be powerful in this life na niliposa wewe na nguvu kwenye maisha haya you must be led by the spirit lazima uongozwe na roho if it is not the spirit of god kama si roho wa mungu it is another spirit kuna roho nyingine atakuongoza tu let me tell you straight hebu nikwambie moja kwa moja can i tell it to you straight ninakwambia bayana kabisa so that you understand ili uelewe these days we call it anointing tunaita opako siku hizi Because kwa sababu when you are filled with the Holy Spirit wakati unajaswa kwa roho the Holy Spirit comes upon you roho anakuja juu yako it comes upon you anakuja juu yako he comes upon you anakuja juu yako he is in the inside of you ako ndani yako and he overflows na anafurika until he fills you hadi anakujaza until you are totally anointed unakuwa na upako kabisa by what he is kwa kile yeye ndiye he takes over your body anachukua sukari mwili wako and begins to use your body anaanza kutumia mwili wako for the glory of god kwa utukufu wa mungu but when you are not full of the holy Lakini spirit kama hujajazwa kwa roho then the flesh basi mwili becomes an instrument inafanyika chombo that the devil can use whenever he wants to use it shetani anatumia kwa hiari that's why in Ephesians it says be filled with the holy spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh jaswa kwa roho na usitimize tamaa za mwili for what is born of the spirit kilichozaliwa na roho is spirit ni roho and what is born of the flesh kuzaliwa na mwili is flesh nacho pia ni mwili hear me hebu nisikie when this anointing comes upon wakati upako unakuja juu yako teaches you to honor God whom you serve. Ninakufundisha kumheshimu Mungu ambaye unamtumikia. The, the, the first sign that you walk full of the Holy Spirit is your giving. Ishara ya kwanza kwamba uko na roho mtakapomjaa roho mtakatifu ni kutoa kwako matoleo. Is your giving. Ni kuja mjisu unavyotoa. 
It is your giving. Because if you are led by the flesh, the flesh will make you fear to give what the spirit wants you to give. Because the flesh must calculate with the head. But the spirit wants to teach you that he is your provider. You don't have to know how it will come. You just need to believe leave and allow him to take over and do what, whatever he is telling you to do. If you are a preacher like me, the Holy Spirit will, will change your message. So, I need help. I need a helper. I say I need a helper. And, and I cannot come to preach without an anointing over my head. And let, let me tell you, you can take everything I have. Absolutely everything. If you leave me with the Holy Ghost, give me three years. Just three years. Come and check. You will find I am better than I was when you took everything. From the time of Jesus, and Till the time of the apostles, you will never see anybody ordaining things with oil. There is nothing like that in the new covenant. Because in the old testament, the oil is a sign of the Holy Spirit. Now when the Holy Spirit has come, we cannot, we cannot ordain you you are already you are already ordained by the spirit of God to fulfill the purposes of God in your life we can only send you and commission you we can't do what Jesus did not do. It's religion. It's religion. Why did he not ordain his disciples? Because he knew that when he leaves, a new dispensation begins a time of the Holy Spirit and it doesn't matter how much oil you, they pour on you if Jesus does not baptize you with the Holy Spirit you will be an ordinary person but when the Holy Spirit sits on you he puts you in the place where God has ordained you to be oh I am ordained of God Yes, and I am sitting in my office, and the devil can do nothing about it. I am here to tell you, let's get out of religion. Let us go back to our roots. If you are not full of the Holy Spirit, you must be filled with the Holy Spirit. You can't be a believer, a follower of Jesus, and you are satisfied you have never healed a fly. <laughs> This signs will follow them that believe. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will lay hands on the sick. And the sick will recover. Why is it that the church, when it is gathered, they went everywhere preaching the word, God confirming the word with miracles and signs and wonders? They were taking, believers were taking cities. Because they had anointed. They sat under the anointing of the apostles. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. This is a spirit-filled church. People will fear it. 
Kanisa ambao limejaza na Roho Mtakatifu watu wataogopa. But when when we are just when we are just gathering singing our songs and doing our everything. Even devil worshipers will come and worship with us. Hata watakuja watu wa shetani waabudu nasi. And they come and cast the church. Na kuja na magari kanisani. They are sitting there chewing their gum. Wanakaa pale wa kila tu majibikia hapo. When they are chewing they are releasing stuff. Na wakati wanakula kula vitu hivyo wanaachilia roho zao tu. Wanaangalia pande hii pande hii pande hii. They are released so the preacher is there struggling because there is a devil worshiper on that side there's another one on that there's another one sitting there there's another one sitting here and the people who are sitting in the church don't even know they have no clue because they are not led by the spirit they, they don't know that they have been invaded so the church becomes dry. Kanisa inakaukiwa. Kuna kauka. In some of them, baadhi yao, they become nice sisters and they begin to befriend the preacher. Wanakuja wanaanza kutafuta rafiki na mchungaji. Hmm. Hmm. Ah? Eh? Jesus. Yes. It is called spiritual blindness. In may, may the Lord open your eyes. You can't afford to sit here for four nights and leave this place blind. The servant of Elisha was afraid when he looked with his physical eyes and he saw that Dothan had been surrounded. He says to his servant, Alas, what shall we do? The servant of God said, Don't be afraid. Those who are with us, they are more than what you have seen. And when you walk in the spirit, Na rohoni, every time you begin to pray, kila saa kuomba, you pray, Holy Spirit, anoint me nipake, afresh upia, because you are asking for a feeling. Kwa mana unaomba, ujazwe. Every day, kila siku, I ask God mungu, to fill me nijaze, with the Holy Ghost before I come to preach, kubiri, before I do anything ministry, yote, because that's my life. Ni I, I ask the Holy Spirit, mtakatifu, fill me. Nijaze. And when he fills me, Na nijaza, I'm ready niko tayari to do what god wants me to do kufanya kile mungu anataka nifanye we're going to pray tutaomba you are saved umeokoka but you have never been filled with the holy spirit kuja wai jazwa kwa roho mtakatifu with the evidence of speaking in tongues kuadhirisho la kunena lugha that first feeling is called the baptism hiyo kujazwa kwa kwanza kunaitwa batizo god will, jesus will baptize you with the holy spirit yes watakubatiza kwa roho mtakatifu and with fire na kwa moto so the everything that is fleshly carnal will be burned by the fire of God. Your fear will die. That's why you can't be filled with the Holy Spirit and be a coward. And be a coward. And be a coward. Your fear will go. You receive boldness from heaven. To release the Holy Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus. To fill this place. May He turn your life around. May everything about you. May it turn around. From, from this day. May you hear God. May you hear clearly. That small quiet voice saying this is the way. This is what you are supposed to do. Every head bowed. Kila kichwa kime inamishwa chini. Every eye close. Na kila jicho limefungwa. For God to fill a body. Kwa mungu kujaza mwili. 
He first cleanses it. Kwanza utakasa mwili huo. By washing it with the blood. Kwa kuitakasa kwa damu kuyosha kwa damu. And then your sins are blotted away. Alafu dhambi zako zinaondolewa kabisa. And your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Jina lako linaliwa kwenye kitabu cha mwana kondoo wa Mungu. You become a child of God. Unafanyika pale sasa mtoto wa Mungu. And and then you are ready. Sasa pale uko tayari. Because the body has been cleansed. Kwa maana mwili umesafishwa. You are ready to be filled. Uko tayari kujazwa sasa. With the Holy Spirit. Kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Lord Jesus. Bwana Yesu. I preached your word I've taught tonight. Mobino lako nimefundisha usiku wa leo. And Lord I pray that you confirm this word. Bwana naomba ukadhibitishe neno hili. With power and signs and miracles. Kwa nguvu ishara miujiza na maajabu heal the sick ponya walio wagonjwa save the sinners waokoe wenye dhambi lift up those that have been walking in a normal life wainua wale ambao wamekuwa wakitembea katika maisha ya ukawaida and fill them ukawajaze with the power of god kwa nguvu zake bwana let the anointing sit on people here. Wacha upako ukakalie watu hapa. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I thank you. Nakushukuru. And I praise you. Nakusifu.